What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior. You realize the lighting is not ideal today, but you know what? We're going to deal with it. Today's topic is going to be taken out of the book, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. And it is the rule that states every battle is won before it is ever fought. Rather, every battle is won or lost before it is ever fought. What does this mean? This quote reminds us that we always have to think very strategically. I'm going to give you esoteric principles to think about as well as physical principles for your personal security. Let's start with the physical principles first. Because I don't want to lose anybody when I start talking about the esoteric stuff, right? Every battle is won or lost before it is ever fought. Well, let's just say, for example... <clears throat> We're at a bar, we're at a club, something like that, right? We're in a situation and we're dealing with some freaking prick. And um, he's given us a hard time and we start thinking, all right, I could take this guy, no problem, right? I could just do bah, real quick, right? Take him out, move on. Well, maybe you could. But you fail to notice that standing behind him, he's got a table full of his buddies right there or behind you. You know, out on the street or whatever, right? Like there is three, four, five, six of his buddies over there, right? Somewhere, maybe the next table over, whatever. You didn't notice that. So maybe you grab him up, bah, headbutt, right? Real nice, real pretty. You get him right in the bridge of the nose, drop him. All right. Ideally, right? An ideal world. All of a sudden, you've got freaking, you got yoking you from behind. You've got punches coming at you. You've got another guy kicking at you, like, right? It's it's a bad situation. That battle was lost before it was ever fought because you failed to take into account that he might have reinforcements that you did not see. You failed to observe the situation. Reconnaissance? <laughs> intelligence gathering this is like the most important part honestly like all of the all of this stuff where we gather the information before we make any strategic decisions this is where the real wise general wins we need to train ourselves and force ourselves to think and act strategically. Maybe this guy, he's given you a bunch of gruff, but you could have avoided this situation. Or maybe it's unavoidable, right? Maybe it is. Sometimes it just, the guy wants a piece of you and there's nothing you can do about it. And he's going to take something from you if you try to leave the situation as it is, right? Sometimes we cannot avoid a battle, but you know, unless the situation happens super, super, super quick and develops super, super quick, which a lot of the times it does, if we've got any time at all to observe, we have to observe, right? And this is why I teach all of my guys that I train guys and girls is even when they've got a guy yapping in your face, keep an eye on him, but try to look around as well. Try to figure out what's going on behind him. And if you can take a couple of steps back and just glance over your shoulder you know, keep it up, keep a peripheral on him, but figure out, hey, is there guys massing behind me? What's going on around me? Is there anything I can use strategically to my advantage? If I got to knock this guy, where am I going after this, right? That's another big thing is maybe you get him and maybe even he's on his own or rarely happens, but whatever reason, like you are able to assault through the situation but then in your retrograde, <laughs> you didn't realize it, but like there was a cop like over here in his car parked. You didn't see it, right? And now you're in big trouble, especially if you're in a foreign country. 
These are things that we have to take into account. And that's why Sun Tzu says every battle is won or lost before it is ever fought, right? Because if you take the time to analyze things strategically, all right, even if it's only like 10 seconds that you have to think, those 10 seconds of like thoughtfulness, mindfulness of the situation are better than none. All right, shit, like I got to knock this guy. There's clearly no way around this. You know, I'm going to I'm going to hit him hard and then I'm going to I'm going to run over here cuz I I've, I've already been this way. I know it should be relatively clear and I know I got like two blocks to go before I'm where I need to be. Like I'm just going to do it. And then you go, right? And you've taken that you've taken that consideration into the strategic situation and more than likely if if you think this way You'll be way better off. I'll say it like that. I mean, sometimes it's a shit sandwich. You've got to take a bite of it, right? We think strategically. Our chances of survival go way up. Now, let's get into the more esoteric principles of this here. Every battle is won before it is ever fought. My mentor... One of my mentors, Scott Boland, one of the legends, one of the little known legends in modern combatives and martial arts. Always harps on the fact that there is an energy and it exists whether we know it or not and like it or not. But there is an unseen energy. This energy, you can call it chi, you can call it prana, you can call it energy. You can call it the force, whatever you want to call it, it exists. Sometimes the chi is with you, right? Sometimes you have good chi. Like sometimes you like slept well, you train that day already, you're feeling good, you're alert, you're you're tuned up and you're on it, right? And this is the time where like, okay, if we had to go, this is when we'd want to have to do it. Sometimes you slept like shit. Maybe you're fighting with a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. Maybe you like lost some money on a, on a sports bet. Like you're just not with it, right? Whatever, whatever. Your your chi is low. Like you're not you're not going to handle situations as well as you would as if you had a good energy level. If you try to fight when you have a low energy level, or you're like out of shape, or you're not feeling like at least ninety percent, my friend, that is not the time where you want to fight. This is the time when you need to put your blinders on and like walk down the street. And if somebody, if somebody like insults your honor or whatever, like fuck them. Who cares? Like keep going, dude, because you're not going to win that battle, right? Not that we should ever let pride get in the way of like our strategy because we shouldn't. But I mean, especially when you, when you just don't have it, when you know that you don't kind of have it, you got to sit on the ball. You gotta freaking sit on the bowl and just let it, let it ride, dude. And just put your blinders on and just go. Another, another like important thing to think about is being on unfamiliar territory. And Sun Tzu talks about this a lot too. Like where I am currently, right? If you're smart, you can figure it out. I gotta put the blinders on. I gotta just walk like that. I gotta put my head down and I don't wanna draw no freaking attention. When you're on unfamiliar ground, you don't know what's around the next bend or the next corner. My friend, that is not the time where you should be ever committing to any type of battle. In these times, we need to take a lesson from the ancient ninjutsu or the ancient ninja, right? And we need to avoid battle at all costs. If we are forced into battle and there is no option for retreat, we need to strike hard, strike fast, end it with as little energy as possible and disappear. But that's rarely the case. I Almost never. There's almost always a way to avoid physical conflict. If there's not, there's not. We go into everything that we train. And hopefully our muscle memory can take over. We end it quick and we leave. We depart. We disappear. But that's not a good option. <laughs>
If you're on unfamiliar territory, do not fight. Do not fight. Retreat. Like, do whatever you have to do, but do not fight. In this way, we can realize that every battle is decided before it's ever fought. When we rush into things, when we blindly rush into any situation, we're at risk. We're at risk. Risk management, risk mitigation, these are important things. These are important, these are very important things for a warrior to think about. Think about them. When we don't think about them, that's when we lose a battle. When we take all of this into account, when we think about all of this stuff, we will be, we will be successful. Successful is the warrior who plans ahead. Successful is the warrior who studies strategy and studies the art of war. That's all I got for you today, guys. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out our website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We got great stuff available there, online training programs, all of that great stuff. We've also got new t-shirts coming out all the time. If you like what, uh, what I said today, hey, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Let's drive this channel up in the algorithm, okay? We need to, we need to reach more people because uh, <laughs> I think you know why. It's a, it's a weird time we're living in, and we need everybody to be as prepared as possible. Let's create a community of warriors, good warriors, good men who are willing to fight the good fight. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, even though like 0.5% ladies in my audience, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you next time, Mother Flowers. Cheers, guys.